So here we go. Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. The government is going to start taking their money back. You watch. Talking about opening daycare back up next month. They're saying she's going to be double the price it was before for your kitty kitty. Guess what? How many people is that going to cock over? For tons of people. It is what it is. Hopefully everybody that collected that money from the government puts them away for when the tax time comes so the government can have his back. Hopefully he didn't blow the wad on prostitutes, booze, cigarettes. You'll be cocked over. I didn't. I got a couple of them checks and they went right into a separate account they did. Thank God. You can have her all back, Jim! Unless I'm going to put Melly back in daycare and then I'm going to spend it on that and I'm going to say too freaking bad. Shut up your ass. Just ram it in there. Just go fist yourself. Why wouldn't you? Nothing like a good fister. Trudeau. Holy, look at the lineup here. What is really going on? Let's go! Freak, you're doing 60 and an 80. I'm gonna stop. I got 50 cars behind me, Jim. Probably six in front of me, Captain. All because of one dickhead in a trailer. Oh, that's annoying. Can you hear that? <laughs> Just so you know, we're getting busy at work, we are. Things are really starting to pick up for us. It's a good thing it is, but the only problem is I get home and I'm freaking whipped because I'm an old man now. So it's gonna cock over my contents for my videos because I have no ambition. I just wanna go to sleep. So leave your comments down below if you want me to take acid or something to give myself more energy so I can do videos for you. If you do, then I might have to look into that stuff. Get just tweaking and then we'll be able to do a video. It doesn't matter how tired I am. How'd you like that video of the uh, Maverick Mini anyways? Was it all right? Cause uh, Maverick airs next. So stay tuned for that. We'll see what the distance on that bad boy will get. Bring it right, we will. It's hot out today. It's 90 Fahrenheit right now. And if you want Celsius too goddamn bad, that's what I say. I might as well be American because I like the old Fahrenheit I do. I don't do Celsius. So I can do Celsius if you want, but then I'll be miles per hour. You Americans must just think I'm decked over. How come this guy does like kilometers an hour, but yeah, he does Fahrenheit? What's really going on? Yeah, that's just the way I roll. I'm like a French person, speak English and talk French. What's the difference if the temperatures are side by each? Freak. Let's go there, Mazda 7. Turn that zone, bitch. Careful. No balls when the air's on, Jim. The air just a blowing, I do. Freaking right. Nothing like a good blow from the air. So I was gonna plant a garden this year, but I never got around to it. Let me know in the comments below if you have a garden that you plant veggies and this and that and the other thing. We did get some sunflower seeds planted, but that's about it. But no garden this year. I wanna make those garden boxes. Everybody seems to make garden boxes now. They're much easier because they're higher up and they don't hurt your back and, and you can pick the weeds out while you're sitting there having a coffee and stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you use yourself a uh, veggie box or if you have one in the ground because inquiry minds wanna know. And I wanna know in the comments. This guy's got so much weight in this chair, it looks like the wheels are about ready to break off. Like, holy buddy, you are overloaded, just so you know. Manual recording will now start. That there trailer has way too much weight on it, Jim. He is gonna bust an axle. My God. How much weight do you think that thing can carry? Dickhead. Oh, yeah, you did. Look at that thing. Oh, it's gonna bust for sure. You're an idiot. Turn the corner, look like the wheel's gonna fall right off it. Just because you have a dump trailer doesn't mean it can hold three pallets of freaking brick. Moron. Oh well. What do you do? Teach his own. Oh, see that guy's got garden boxes with veggies in it. Like I was saying, leave a comment down below what you have. Garden, garden boxes, what kind of veggies you grow, what you enjoy the most. Let dirty old rotten old stinky old bills look no so I can grow whatever's easy. What's the easiest thing to grow besides tomatoes? Let me know below. You freaking better. I love you guys, man. You guys need to freaking do it for me. I do this for you, so you gotta do it for me. You gotta leave those comments. Subscribe, and you gotta share sometimes. I stopped saying boys because people didn't like me saying boys 150,000 times a video, which I do realize I did because I go back and watch my old videos and I freaking annoy myself. I try not to say A so much. I try not to say and uh, and why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I don't mind saying. I say that still. It's funny how you go back on your old videos that you started and you're thinking to yourself, man, oh man, was I ever cocked over? How'd I get any subscribers talking like this goof? But now, it's not so bad. 
getting better I am. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me on that one. And what the hell, you might as well subscribe too, why wouldn't you? I would. You gotta help me retire, boys, girls, peoples. That way I can do more content. I can go on trips, I can buy things and take it for a rip for you. Talking like everybody else wants to do, hey? We all want to just live the dream we do. My content isn't good enough to live the dream because I don't have the money or the time. Only reason, I think. I think if I had the other things I need, I can make this channel grow. I could get some professionals on here. Call up some professionals, say, hey, come over. You need to get on my channel today. Channels grow by other channels, so I need to find local channels that do things. And we can collaborate into different things. And this, that, and the other freaking thing. And then it just becomes a giant monster of Google. YouTube maniac growth. That's how it works. If anybody tells you, if you have a YouTube channel, anybody says to you, you're hoarding off another channel or doing another channel or you're over another channel so you just get subscribers, a good YouTuber connects with another good YouTuber and collaborates. Who knows? Have 500,000 subscribers to give that drone away. By the time you guys get that drone, it's going to be a Maverick Air 6. The growth ain't growing, so it's hard to give it away because it's a 500,000 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> Not a 5,000. <laughs> I think people understood that, Ron, because there's a lot of people out there saying, I want to be in on the draw. Dude, I'm nowhere near the freaking draw. It's 500,000. I'm sorry, but I can't give a $1,400 drone away at 5,000 subscribers. It'll take me a year to pay for it. Like I said, I want to do nothing more than give stuff away, but I gotta make the revenue to give it away. I can't just spend money. Money can't just go out, it's gotta come in. Hopefully you all understand that because I would if it was your channel, I wouldn't expect you as a YouTuber, anything under 10,000 subscribers to give stuff away. I understand totally you can. You can't unless you are independently wealthy and you're doing YouTube to not go anywhere. You don't really care if you go anywhere, then you can afford to give stuff away. Or if you're sponsored, then you can give stuff away. But I'm not sponsored by nobody. This is me and me only. And I'm not making enough money to give stuff away, but there's nothing I want more than to give stuff away. So help me grow, subscribers. And then I can start giving stuff away. Like the biggest way to help me grow is to share me. So if you guys love me and you, you really like what I'm doing here, you need to help me, you need to share. Share the videos. That's how you get more subscribers. That's how the subscribers go up, and that's how we grow together, and that's how you might win some. How's that sound? Pretty good? Figure right it does. But anyways, we're just pulling home here. I'm gonna have a, a little swim ski in the pool. Maybe do a little edit in this side uh, the other thing. You got the right away, dude. Wearing a mask in your own fucking truck. What is with people that wear the mask in their own truck and they're by themselves? What, are you gonna breathe on yourself? Oh, hey. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. And until next time, you know what to do for now.